Welcome to Quick History Facts, the channel that brings you fascinating stories of history in just a few minutes. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at the life of Princess Alice of Battenberg, the mother of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Alice was born on February 25, 1885, in Windsor Castle in England. She was the eldest child of Prince Louis of Battenberg and Princess Victoria of Hesse and by Rhine. Her great-grandmother was Queen Victoria. In 1903, at the age of 18, Alice married Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark. Together, they had five children, Margarita, Theodora, Cecile, Sophie and Philip. Alice was known to be a devoted mother and she raised her children with a strong sense of duty and service to others. Princess Alice of Battenberg was also deaf. She learned to communicate through lip reading, and those who knew her said that she was an excellent lip reader. She began to lose her hearing in early adulthood, and by the time she was in her forties, she was profoundly deaf. Despite this, she learned to speak multiple languages, including English, German, and Greek. Her ability to communicate effectively despite her deafness was a testament to her strength and determination. In 1922, Alice and Andrew separated, and Alice moved to Germany with her children. She became increasingly involved in charity work and was particularly interested in nursing. In fact, during World War I, Alice had trained as a nurse and had worked as a volunteer at a hospital in Greece. Alice's life took a dramatic turn in 1930 when she experienced a religious awakening. She also became interested in psychoanalysis and studied under Sigmund Freud's daughter, Anna Freud. Alice's mental health issues were a significant part of her life. She suffered from a nervous breakdown in 1930, which led to her being hospitalised in Switzerland for treatment. It was during this time that she converted to the Greek Orthodox Church and said she was receiving messages from God. After her recovery, Alice continued to experience periods of mental instability throughout her life. She was diagnosed with schizophrenia and spent time in and out of psychiatric hospitals for treatment. Although she claimed to be sane the entire time and was subject to horrific treatments, her condition was sometimes exacerbated by stress or traumatic events, such as the death of her daughter Cecile in a plane crash in 1937. Despite her struggles, Alice remained committed to her family and her charitable work. She often found solace in her faith and continued to study religion and philosophy throughout her life. Her dedication to helping others never wavered, even during her darkest moments. During World War II, Alice and her family were forced to flee Germany and went into exile in Greece. Alice worked tirelessly to provide aid and comfort to those affected by the war, even sheltering a Jewish family in her own home. In 1949, Alice founded the Christian Sisterhood of Martha and Mary, a religious order dedicated to nursing and charitable work. She took the name Sister Elizabeth and devoted the rest of her life to her religious calling. Alice passed away on December 5, 1969, in Buckingham Palace, at the age of 84. She was buried in the royal crypt at St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Her remains were transferred, per her wishes, to the Russian Orthodox Church of St Mary Magdalene in Jerusalem in 1988. Alice was a remarkable woman who dedicated her life to helping others. Her legacy lives on through her children and grandchildren. That's it for today as quick history facts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more history facts.